Some folks have tried to salvage objective reality and materialism by claiming that the quantum realm operates on a separate set of rules that don't apply to the macro world of our daily experience. This idea is called macro-realism. The scientists Leggett and Garg proposed an idea similar to Bell's theorem, known as an inequality, to test whether there is a limit on quantum effects. But in 2011, a team led by Stephanie Simmons and George Nee experimentally demonstrated violations of the Leggett-Garg inequality. And these results have been duplicated many times since then, showing that macro-reality emerges from quantum reality. So you can't separate the two. Reality is all emerging from the same source and operates by the same rules at all levels. The double slit experiment has been successfully performed with larger objects such as atoms, molecules, and even buckyballs, spherical structures made of 60 carbon atoms. Scientists are currently designing experiments to do this with mid-sized proteins and viruses. Non-local entanglement has been recorded between pairs of small diamonds, aluminum chips big enough to be seen with the naked eye, a small metal paddle has even been placed into a state of non-local superposition. As of February 2015, macro-realism has failed every single experimental test. The fact that quantum effects exist at the macro level is what makes quantum computing possible and quantum computing takes place on a daily basis at Dr. Seth Lloyd's MIT Qubit Laboratory. The idea that you can prevent the downfall of materialism by claiming that the macro world is separate from the quantum world simply doesn't work. Reality is all emerging from the same source.